Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video about draw distance on your servers, uh, your community servers and your um, local servers, because you may find sometimes something's happened in the settings and you get, get into a situation where it's incredibly misty. Now I think this draw distance is pretty it's pretty okay, isn't it? it's not, not massive, but it means that it's not really affecting the performance of my local server. Um, and it kind of looks good as well, doesn't it? When you when you're down here, kind of looking around, you can see a long way into the distance, which is which is pretty cool. So, which settings should you look at if you want to increase, or I guess if you wanted to decrease the view distance on your server um, for performance reasons? Okay, so well, there's there's two sides to it. There is the um, uh, settings uh, on your Daisy game, and then there's the settings on your server. Um, and it tends to be whichever is the is the least one is the one that, that, that does the uh, does the does the draw distance. So first one we we'll have a look at is in your server dz.config file. Um, so this would be advanced settings on, for example, like a Nitrado server, or on your um, local server. It will just be you know server dz.config. It's probably called that server dz.config. Um, you can add in. Um, default visibility and default object view distance. Um, now the actual default values are 1375 for both of those but I've whacked up mine to 3500. What I'll do is in the description below this video I'll do a link to Bohemian Interactive's uh, server configuration article which kind of explains a little bit about that and you can kind of see those values there. Now they're not in there as standard um, but you can add them in. I think the reason why they don't add them in a standard is there will be a default for the for the server, obviously. But also, I guess if people are running at low settings on their PCs or um, maybe on their consoles as well, th that it will bring down that view distance. So the other side of it is the settings um, in your your version of DayZ, um, and you'll find that within your document. So on, on your computer, so like this PC, then in Documents you'll find a DayZ folder. Um, and in there, what you're looking for is the um, uh, settings.daisy profile. So you see it, settings.daisy profile. And it'll probably have your username in front of it or something like that. Um, and when you open that up, you'll see you have this section down here scene complexity, shadow distance, view distance, and preferred object. Uh, preferred object view distance. Now I would leave scene complexity up at, is that 10 million is it? Shadow distance I would leave at 250 but I've increased the view distance to 3500 and 3500 um, to match the server. Now I'm not sure if that's exactly what we're getting out of this because it could be that there is a hard code in the actual game that prevents you say going out to say 10 kilometers so that you can see everything. Um, but the problem I had was that I, I was, uh, for some reason I must have changed something and the, the draw distance had become incredibly low and as soon as I started like flying helicopters I couldn't actually see very far in the distance it was like we were flying through um, really really thick fog but as you can see this seems uh, seems pretty good now, uh, I'm very happy with it and that my friends is how you uh, can adjust the draw distance on your server for DayZ on local servers or community servers Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like, if you want to see more, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.